What's up everyone, it's your boy Norrenrad89 here bringing you another rad movie review today to talk about Ghoulies 2 from 1988. Yes, we are continuing the Ghoulies rad movie review series as now we are on to the sequel and this was a first time watch for me like I said in my previous rad movie review. If you didn't get a chance to catch that one, the first film in this franchise is the only one that I've previously seen. So from Ghoulies 2 all the way on all first time watches now so today you're going to hear my positives the negatives and the rating for this film and then i'm going to send you all home so let's do this roll it So Ghoulies 2 from 1988 is directed by Albert Band and produced by him. And if that name sounds familiar, that is actually Charles and Richard Band's father. So that's a really fun fact for you right there. This film is not really tied into the first one you kind of have to go into this one like not like kind of disregarding the ending of that first film a little bit but yeah this one starts off with our antics of our silly ghoulie characters there's a priest character who is trying to destroy them in like a big giant tub or vat of acid and then he ends up getting dunked in there and instead they hitch a ride on a carnival like little trailer thing that's being that stops there they just happen to hitch a ride on there and they end up at Satan's Den in this awesome little carnival setup. So yeah, that's kind of the setup for our film. So let's get into the positives now. One key positive is that despite the setup for this film being completely out of nowhere and having nothing to really do with that first film in tie-in or anything like that, I like the setting to this film a lot better. The Satan's Den setting, the carnival setting, the characters, the cast, everything in this film is basically a great improvement on the previous film. I'm talking about the puppetry work, the, the cinematography, the music, and like I said, the characters and all that stuff. There's actual attempts at character arcs and storytelling in this one. So yeah, this film is to me a vast improvement on the previous film. We have to talk about Royal Dano who plays Uncle Ned or the great Faust like oh, I love this character this is one of my favorite roles and characters he plays he's also in killer clowns from outer space if you're familiar with that film you'll recognize this actor if you've seen that movie so yeah it's really fun to see him in here he's very famous and had a, a career that spanned many many years he was famous for more cowboy acting and more old school films but yeah he's in killer clowns from outer space and he's also in ghoulies too and yeah fantastic fantastic to have him in here because like i said he's charismatic and he just chews up the scenery add to that the characters around him we have larry sir nige we have nicole even our kind of you know anti -tag antagonist character that's not like a ghoulies character that comes in and he's trying to shut down the satan's den like even that character all of them have something about them they have certain scenes or they get time to shine like i said they have actual like charismatic good actors in this movie that are able to hold up the film and carry the weight of the scenes they're asking them to do. I also have some familiar faces like Sasha Jensen from Halloween 4. You're going to recognize this guy right here, this face, and also Don Jeffcoat from Night of the Demons. So there's two familiar faces. So this one's littered with a lot of familiar faces in the horror community and like I said this one like in terms of improvement on cinematography I really enjoyed that the puppetry work I like the way the puppets look in here they're creative we have like this kind of new bat design one this flying one so that's new that was not in the previous film I like our kind of slimy looking like oozy baby one that comes out of the toilet like that that's my favorite designed character one then we have our kind of two rat characters the ones that look like rat brothers and stuff like that so yeah I think the puppetry work even the gore effects and the kills in here much more improved because this film gets to the kills a lot quicker and you see a lot more action so this one is much more i like the pace of this film better uh, also like i said it just gets into it a lot more kills a lot more antics with the ghoulies so this one like i said is right up my alley in terms of the kind of ghoulies action in the film that i want but that's not to say there's some mixed and negatives because there still are some mixed and negatives. Even still while watching this film, I still do crave watching Gremlins or Puppet Masters. Like, it's kind of cool because like I said, this is for me, like I would describe it like for me in my terms, the way I look at it, my personal view, my feelings on the franchise so far is this is like 
the Kmart Gremlins for me. You know what I mean? Like that's the version of it, which I'd say it's not bad. It's just there is a better version. You know, Puppet Master and uh, like I said, Gremlins. I would rather go to Ghoulies too. Still fun, but still like there's you know the acting eh, subpar in some areas, much more improved than the first film, but subpar in some areas. And what I didn't like about this film was that they kind of do this thing with the antagonist character where they. The, not the ghoulies characters, the uh, P. Harden character. He comes in, and at first he's kind of this villainous character. Then they try to give him this arc with this girl, and then they don't do it. And I think this film kind of tries to juggle a little too much. I appreciate what it's trying to do, but I think it's trying to overcompensate, overcompensate a little bit too much for the fact that the previous film had very, very little character moment arcs type stuff. So one other negative I had with this film is that when we do get into the third act, there's a certain sequence that has to do with, that we're going to spoil this movie, this movie is from 1988. In the third act, there's a certain sequence that has to do with a giant ghoulie that ends up going to, you know, basically help our protagonist characters and goes to gather up and eat all the little ghoulies. And I just feel like that sequence it takes a little bit too much time. It's like, it just by the, it just drown dr like drags out. It drags out and it keeps going. And it keeps going and I'm like, uh, it was cute and it was cool and then I was like, it's not cool and it's not funny anymore. Like that's kind of how I feel by the time you get to the end of the moment. You know what I mean? Like I said, when it first starts, you're like, wow, this is pretty sick and I like the giant ghoulie and then like, by the time we get to the end and he's like slowly eating all the other ghoulies, you're like, wow, this. This isn't funny anymore. This is more of a personal taste thing, and by this time, like I said, I would still want more gory effects and kills and stuff like that. Like, it's played off much more silly and horror comedy, and I would like a better balance of the horror and comedy. I would like more gruesome kills, more gruesome effects, and like I said, a better balance, because I, I definitely laughed more in this film than the previous film. That's a huge positive, but this one was more just straight comedy for me. Like, that's how these, these two films have been almost, you know, very little horror and not as scary as I want it to be. But these are just my thoughts and my opinions on Ghoulies 2 from 1988. Please let me know down below in the comment section if you've seen this film. What are your thoughts on the sequel? Like I said, in terms of my describing this film, like a lot more fun than that previous film. This is much more my alley, and I hope they're able to improve on this formula and do more antics and Ghoulies go to college. Like I said, that will be a first time watch for me too. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel. You know, I'll definitely have that rad movie review coming for you. But you came for a rating. You got to know what is the rad rating for Ghoulies 2. Ghoulies 2 in my book is going to get a 7.5 out of 10. Like I said, there's still some elements I wanted improvements on, but definitely a lot better than that first film. And I'm hoping the third one leans more into kind of this category and the way this film was and stuff like that. Please like the video. That definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime I drop a video because that's how you're going to stay up to date on the Ghoulies franchise reviews. These some and anime horror reviews. I got a couple more coming out and also some Courage the Cowardly Dog deep dives. You want to stay in tune to the channel anytime I'm dropping those videos. And also, you know what's up. Have a safe and happy day. Peace out.